Welcome back. I'm Rick Atkinson, founder and president of RE Retirement Advisors. Today I'm here to talk to you about building your balanced leisure lifestyle. Now for many new retirees, in the first few weeks or couple of months, they go into vacation mode. They do what they used to do on vacation when they were working. But when we start to run out of things to do, we oftentimes lose our sense of self and our sense of usefulness. So this is the time to think about how am I going to spend my time? And there's six categories that I'd like you to think about. Entertainment, education, travel, exercise, social activities, and hobbies. Now let me give you a couple of examples for each. When we look at entertainment, it may in fact be watching your favorite television show or going to the ball game or having regular date nights. For education, learning a new language, a new skill, a new craft. For travel, now we recognize when we travel, we get different perspectives, different views, um, whether it's across the province, across the county, across the nation or around the world. How, what's gonna be your travel plans? But there's also something else to think about. That when we look at retirement, there are three stages, the go-go years, the slow-go years, and the no-go years. And so don't put off your travel and say, oh, we'll do it down the road. Because when you start to go into those slow-go and no-go time periods, travel then starts to be less of an interest to you. There's exercise. Now, less than 20% of retirees regularly exercise. So what's going to be your exercise? Hiking, biking, swimming, tennis, power walking. Now, one of the complaints that I regularly hear is, hey, Rick, I'm busy, I'm active in the warm months, the summer months, but I vegetate in the cold months, the winter months. So for those of us that are living in the northern parts of the United States and in Canada, we need an activity for both the warm months and the cold months. Now, please, Consult your doctor before you begin, begin your exercise program. Make sure that your exercise program is in fact best for you. When we look at social activities, what's going to get you out of the house on a regular basis, uh, and there's different organizations that you can take a look at as far as joining and uh, using, Lions, Rotary. There's also an, an organization that I've become very familiar with, and that is Probus, P-R-O-B-U-S, and it's a social organization for people who are 55 and over. You may want to Google it, determine if is this a resource that you want to consider when you're looking at your social activities. There's hobbies, things that you can pick up and do, but there's no pressure to, in fact, complete them. Things such as painting and drawing or knitting or photography, gardening, model building. Now, when you're putting together your balanced leisure lifestyle, obviously you need to experiment. You know, what's going to be the right mix for you? Um, now, the other thing too I'd like to point out is most of us can't pull off 100% leisure. We have a very strong work ethic that our parents gave us. And that work ethic needs to be fed in some way or means. So when you look at how you're going to be spending your time, please think about where does work fit into this? Where does volunteering fit into this? Now, when you look at work, and incidentally, uh, most boomers have to work a day or two or three days a week. They just don't have the money. This fallacy of the rich boomer is, in, is exactly that. It's a fallacy. So when you're looking working, and it might in fact be a substitute teacher or a courtesy shuttle driver or an office assistant. You may even consider starting your own business, tax preparation, event planning, childcare, pet set sitting. But if you're one of these people who said, I never want to work again for a paycheck, consider volunteering, which gives you that feeling of being useful and needed, having that sense of purpose and helping others develop. And there's many opportunities. 
for volunteering. Everything from teaching English or other languages, uh, delivering meals to shut-ins, to working with Habitat for Humanity, and the list goes on. Again, experiment, review, and determine, is this the best balance for me? Now, for more information on building your balanced leisure lifestyle, please visit my website, whencaniretire.ca. And you may, in fact, be interested in taking my 10-module course, Strategies for Retiring Right. Again, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.